This is part one of a two-part controversial topic that I'll be discussing throughout the video, which will make people question as to why this is not talked about more often across educational and historic establishments. As we delve deeper into our human history, our minds are often drawn to great civilizations like Romans, the Maya, or the Aboriginal people of Australia. However, there's one extraordinary ancient civilization that stands out amongst the rest, and they are the Sumerians. What I'm about to share with you will make you ask questions as to why you were not taught more about the Sumerians at school and college, and about their contributions to human history, and most shockingly of all, who they attribute all of their knowledge to. And if this is true about what the Sumerians believe, about who they attribute all of their knowledge to, then it will seriously question many of the world's great religions and beliefs. Which is why I guess so many established institutions from around the world will try to bury this or debunk the Sumerian belief. So, situated in Mesopotamia, the so-called cradle of civilization, the land between the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers, ancient Sumer was a collection of city-states. Ancient Sumer flourished from 4100 BCE until approximately 1750 BCE. The Sumerians were pioneers in many fields. They boasted advanced military, remarkable mathematical knowledge, and a sophisticated writing system called cuneiform. Their writings not only reveal fascinating insights into their own culture, but also introduce us to a group of beings or a group of gods called the Anunnaki. And we'll come on to the Anunnaki shortly. The Sumerians left an incredible mark on history. But who were these mysterious Sumerians? What made them so remarkable? Our understanding of the Sumerians and their civilization had been derived from various sources, including archaeological excavations, deciphered texts, and historical records. Archaeologists have conducted excavations in Mesopotamia, particularly in the region of modern-day Iraq, where ancient Sumerian cities once thrived. These excavations have unearthed artifacts, structures, and remains that provide valuable insight into the Sumerian culture, technology, economy, and their daily life. The Sumerians developed one of the earliest known systems of writing called cuneiform. This script was created by impressions, which were made onto clay tablets using some kind of ancient device like a modern day stylus, or um, some kind of a, a, a roll, which they rolled onto these clay tablets, a bit like a signature. It was set in stone once it was delivered. Over time, thousands of these tablets have been discovered and deciphered by experts, shedding light onto various aspects of Sumerian society, including legal codes, religious practices, trade and literature. The rulers of the Sumerian city-states often left inscriptions and records documenting their reign, military campaigns and accomplishments. These inscriptions found on stone and cylinder seals have provided valuable information about the political structure, warfare and historical events of the Sumerian civilization. They also compiled a king's list or a king list, a historical document that lists the kings who ruled over the different city states. The king list offers valuable information about the sequence of rulers, the lengths of their reigns, and sometimes includes notable events during their rule. Scholars have compared Sumerian texts and artifacts with those other ancient civilizations, such as the Arcadians, the Babylonians, and the Assyrians. And by analyzing similarities and differences, they've been able to gain a broader understanding of the Sumerian cultural, linguistic, and societal contributions. It is important to note that our knowledge of these Sumerians is not complete, not by a long shot, and there are still many aspects of their civilization that remains unknown or subject to interpretation. The Sumerians refer to themselves as the civilized kings, their land as the land of civilized kings. They were among the first groups to divide time into hours and minutes, showcasing their impressive understanding of the celestial movements. 
Their religion involved around a pathion of gods known as the Anunnaki, who were believed to hold sway over the fate of the Sumerians. Now here is where it gets interesting. So that's just a bit of a, a bit of background into the Sumerians. Now mentioned the Anunnaki a few times and that the Sumerians believed that their knowledge and their technology was given to them by the Anunnaki. So while some people will dismiss the Anunnaki as mythical gods, others ponder a more extraordinary possibility. Could these gods have been actual beings from another planet? That's right, you've heard it right. Could they have been aliens? Beings from another planet, right? They're aliens. Some researchers propose that the Anunnaki arrived on Earth from a distant planet, a distant celestial body, even hypothesizing that it could be the so-called mysterious planet X. But why would extraterrestrial beings masquerade as gods? The proponents of this theory suggest that the Anunnaki enslaved the Sumerians to mine gold for them, utilizing the resources of our planet before returning to their home planet. There are even claims that the Anunnaki played a pivotal role in advancing the Sumerians' knowledge of writing and mathematics. Are you intrigued yet? Did I not say this was going to be a controversial subject? Do you find yourself pondering the possibility of ancient astronauts shaping the human civilization? If you take a look at this image in particular, here you have an incredible clay or stone tablet created from one of these ancient styluses or cylinder blocks believed to be created by the Sumerians. What is fascinating about this is that here you have on the top left hand corner as we look at it what appears to be a particular solar system clearly depicting a sun with what appears to be 11 celestial bodies around the sun and this could represent the solar system of where the Anunnaki originate from but it could also very much be our own solar system with 11 planets and moons if you count Pluto here as a planet of which one planet or moon or another celestial body has been completely destroyed between Mars and Jupiter creating the asteroid belt leaving behind 10 celestial bodies in our solar system well we know what nine of those planets are if you like I said if you count Pluto as a as a dwarf planet the other planet the so-called 10th planet being the mysterious planet X or the planet of Nibiru where the ancient Anunnaki supposedly originate from now the theory of a planet or moon sized object being destroyed between Mars and Jupiter is for another video and I don't want to digress away from the Anunnaki so I will cover that at some point in the future you see this solar system depicted on this tablet you can you're gonna have to ask yourself how did the Sumerians know of all these celestial bodies in the solar system 6,000 years ago how is that possible we know from historical records that Mercury Venus Mars Jupiter and Saturn were identified by the Babylonian astron astronomers in the second millennium prior to the Babylonians there was no historical records of these planets in our solar system and yet here they are depicted on this tablet 6,000 years ago. How's that possible? And if that clay tablet created by the Sumerians was not of our own solar system, which solar system does it represent and why? How did the Sumerians have technology to look into deep space when the first telescope wasn't invented until sometime in the 1600s by Hans Lippershey or Lippershey? Although Galileo is often credited as the first astronomer to invent the telescope, actually, in fact, it was Hans Lippershey or Lippershey that invented the telescope. However, thousands of years earlier, the Sumerians were studying the stars and the planets and making stone and clay records of their findings. It doesn't make sense. Unless they were taught and told where to look. Unless they were given tools and taught how to use the technology, then it starts to make sense. There's also another image, which again, will have you questioning, how is this possible? Many of the ancient Sumerian tablets and artifacts feature this image here, and it appears to look like 
interwoven snakes, interwoven ropes, or some kind of interwoven pattern. But that pattern is what I want to look at. This is actually a representation of the double helix, which is found in the DNA of living species and organisms. How is this represented on an ancient artifact over 6,000 years old is quite astonishing. And it gives credence to the theory that human beings had their DNA altered to allow us to learn and develop. The Anunnaki imparted their wisdom and technology on us, but in order for them to do that, they had to alter the DNA to create us in their own image. It's a very, very famous piece of writing found in most religious texts from around the world. Again, this altered DNA and humans being created in the image of their creators is for another video. But I do find it fascinating that here, once again, we're looking at information created and gathered thousands of years ago, which seems completely out of sync with our own understanding of human history timeline theory. The debate about the reality of the Anunnaki, whether they were divine entities or extraterrestrial visitors, does rage on. The fascination of the ancient Sumerian gods continues to captivate minds and sparks endless questions. Let's pause for a moment and reflect on the implications. If the claims of the Anunnaki's existence holds any truth, it will challenge our understanding of human history and the origin of knowledge itself. We are left to question the mainstream narrative that often disregards these intriguing findings, leaving us craving further exploration and investigation. So, why does mainstream science and archaeology shy away from delving deeper into these amazing discoveries? Is it due to fear? Is it really fear? A fear of disrupting established historical frameworks or perhaps a reluctance to embrace unconventional theories? Remember that history is not always as straightforward as it seems. The ancient Sumerian civilization, with its advanced knowledge and mysterious gods, remains a source of fascination for both scholars and enthusiasts alike. What are your thoughts on the Sumerians and the possibility of ancient extraterrestrial visitors from another planet, a so-called Planet X? Share your views and join the conversation in the comment section below and join me on the next video for part two of this fascinating and controversial subject.